Madam, sirs, ladies and gents, to you, to you, and to you, I present my wondrous rare box with its story of origins from a place I know not. I met this beauty just as you will today. I peeked and I gasped, but before turning away, responsibility called from my foremost lobe to protect it and direct it around the globe and share it with those I meet in this exact way. Brave souls such as you and you and you who are curious and willing to play. Feel it, smell it, taste it. What? No! Just peep for now. You, you sir, sir, may step right up. Consider your body. Think of all the places your body has been. In the womb for a watery ride, and then for a time too short or too long, in anxious, anxious and, and overwhelmed, overwhelmed caregiver's arms. arms. Perhaps in a transport, or a carriage, or swing, through a host of institutions, and on patches of green, your body, I am right, am I not? Take this moment to consider the lot. Your, your body. body, in the sun and under stars, in restaurants, in dance halls, perhaps even in bars. Your body has been moving about. Your funny little walk as you go in and out. Your delightful gums flapping, your pointy fingers snapping, your evil little laughter your sincere smile after. Your hips, how they mmm and move and sway. Each morning you wake to another day of your eyes seeing, your nose picking up what it can, your ears tracking, your taste bumps smacking, your feelers fooling and knowing and eyeing and yearning. And all the while your senses experiencing burning with life, and you, awash in sensation. Would that you could remember you are the glorious accumulation of all the things your body has been through. Don't let your thoughts trick your mind to organize a small idea of you in the world, separate and other. No, you are connected and continuous with your mother nature and all your friends here, there, and everywhere. I swear, consider your body. It's lovely. Dear ones, I am called. I don't quite know the reason. I trusted we would meet today, and so again another season. But before you go, remember this. We have knowledge, words, theories, and thoughts. But without the warmth of our fellow animals, without the hum and churn of nature, without feeling, smelling, tasting, hearing, touching, breathing each other. We are lost.